I hope you enjoyed the last two pieces. Uh, I love playing on a Baroque guitar. It's um, a lot of fun. It's got its special challenges. Uh, the tuning on a Baroque guitar is essentially the same as the top five strings of a classical guitar. Uh, the strings are a, a single E. The second string or course is two Bs. The third is two Gs, unison. The fourth is in octaves. And then the fifth is two high A's. This is commonly called the French tuning, and it was evidently favored by Gaspar Sanz. Uh, one of the special challenges that you have in playing Baroque guitar is playing lightly and also engaging both strings of the chorus at the same time. Uh, you basically can't play rest stroke because then you'll have uh, a, 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 a double hit in a sense. Uh, you, you'll have an arpeggiation of each note, and you don't want that. So what you want to try to do is play on top of the string so that you can get both strings at the same time. In playing Gaspar Sanz's music on a standard classical guitar, one of the things that becomes very challenging is where he has ornaments like trills on the second string. So if you have something like this, that's really difficult to play on a classical guitar, but because the strings are so light, you can get a very nice trill on the second string with not much effort. Um, the music for the instrument is uh, by and large on the easy side. Uh, it tends to favor uh, first position or the lower positions, and um, the music is, by and large, rather uncomplicated, unless you're playing Francisco Guerrero's music. And then you have these very complicated, very long pasacallas. But Sanz's music uh, and a lot of the other composers uh, really fit the instrument extremely well. And once you know the piece, you'll always uh, be able to play it. Uh, the tablature can be kind of challenging to read. If you have been experienced in reading uh, modern guitar tablature, this is upside down. So the standard way of looking at it is to think that you're looking in a mirror. So the, the lowest line on the tablature refers to the first string and the fifth line or the top line would be the lowest string. So that takes a little getting used to. But once you get the hang of reading the tablature, Baroque guitar music is really a delight to play. Tuning can be a, a bit of a headache. These strings are made by Aquila, they're called Nile gut, they're synthetic gut strings. On a new instrument like this, this instrument's about a week old, they take quite a while for them to settle in, but once they settle in, not only do they stay in tune uh, extremely well, but they last forever. Uh, you can literally keep a set of, of the Nile gut strings on your instrument for 10 years, and they'll still sound great. In fact, they get better sounding, they get smoother sounding as you go. So, uh, in that sense, the initial expense of the strings is offset by their uh, incredible longevity. So I hope you enjoyed the performance. Thank you very much.